how are you this is your tutor harry hope you all doing great and today i am going to tell you a new topic that is additive inverse and multiplicative inverse most of the students get familiar with the topic in the standard of 8 plus and so without wasting the time let's start with the topic first of all i am going to tell you about the additive inverse here the term depicts additive what you understand with this term additive means addition so what sort of addition is here so first of all let's get more detail about this additive inverse so suppose i am assuming one digit a i am taking one digit a and what should be added to this to get a result zero what should be added to this to get a result zero this is a with sign of plus in front of it fine then i need to subtract one digit similar to this one minus a once plus a minus a gets subtracted from each other we will get the result zero so we can say that minus a that we added extra to make it additive inverse as a result we can say that minus a is the additive inverse of what inverse of a is it clear to all of you and suppose i'm taking another example with the minus sign suppose i'm taking minus a i need to add or subtract something from this to get a result zero is it clear result zero so what should be added or subtracted from this you can see that this digit already contain minus sign so i need to add one digit similar to this one that is this if we subtract both of them both of them get the result zero it means that we added extra plus a so a is the additive inverse of what this minus a so let's move towards the more examples to make it more understandable i'm taking one practical example suppose i'm taking one digit that is 2 by 3 i have taken 2 by 3 this is a rational number how will we can make additive inverse of this see very simple what should be added or subtracted from 2 by 3 to get a result zero very simple 2 by 3 is of plus sign we need to subtract one digit similar to 2 by 3 that is again what happened this gets cut by this and we get the result zero it means we can say what we added extra and thus minus 2 by 3 so we can say that minus 2 by 3 is the additive inverse of what the statement 2 by 3 is it clear suppose i'm taking one more example for you i'm taking minus 8 this is first example this one is second example i'm taking minus 8 we need to get additive inverse of minus 8 how we can get that for this what should be added or subtracted from minus a to get a result zero like this we need to add plus a to this to get a result zero so that once we subtract this we already get the result zero okay so it means that we what we added extra minus a we added extra so we can say that a is the additive inverse of minus 8 hope this topic is clear to you 
Fine. Can we move towards the multiplicative inverse? So, what exactly the multiplicative inverse is? As the name suggests, multiplicative means multiplication. We need to multiply two numbers to get a result 1. Fine. Suppose I have a digit A. One number is A. What should be the other number so that result we get 1? We need to put here like this. 1 upon A. If we added 1 upon A, then A get cut. 1 multiplicated by 1 is equal to 1. Is it clear? We get the result 1. So, what we added extra? Minus 1 upon A. Sorry, plus 1 upon A. So, we can say that 1 upon A is the multiplicative inverse of A. Fine. In the similar manner, let's I am taking one another example with the sign of minus. Suppose I have a digit minus A. What should be multiplied to this to get a result 1? For this, we need to again divide the number 1 by A. So that we can multiply A to A gets cut. But you can say that minus 1 multiplied by 1 equal to minus 1. But we need plus 1. For this, we need to add extra minus 1. So that minus minus multiplicative minus multiply, multiply by minus equal to it give us result in a positive sign. So this is we added extra. So minus 1 upon A is the multiplicative inverse of what? Minus A. Fine. So I am taking some practical example to make you more understandable. Suppose I am taking the topic uh, like a rational number. I am taking 3 upon 8. 3 upon 8. 8. This is our first example. What should be multiplied to this to get a result 1? For this, we need to multiply this number by 8 upon 3. So that 3 gets cut from this, 8 gets cut from this. So that we get result 1 multiplied by 1 equal to 1. So what we added extra? 8 upon 3. So we can say that 8 upon 3 is the multiplicative inverse of what? statement 3 by 8. Fine. So I am taking another example to make you more understandable. Suppose we have a digit minus 5. We need to get multiplicative inverse of minus 5. For this what we need to do? We need to multiply this number with such a number so that we get result 1. For this what we need to do? We need to divide the 1 by 5. So that 5 gets cut by 5, 5 1 the 5, but 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1, but with the sign of minus. It gives us result minus 1, but we need the result plus 1. For this, what we need to do, we need to add extra minus sign here. So that same, this property satisfy minus 1, multi, minus multiplied by minus, it gives us the result in positive. So we get a plus sign plus 1. So, we can say that min one, minus 1 upon 5 is the multiplicative inverse of what? Minus 5. This is the multiplicative inverse. Again, I am revising, revising the chapter. Additive inverse, multiplicative inverse. In additive inverse, we need to add or subtract two numbers in such a manner so that we get a result 0. Fine. And in multiplicative inverse, we need to multiply two numbers to get a result 1. Fine. So friends, I am trying to make you familiar with the topic. Hope you get much knowledge about this. If you have any query, any doubt, you can message me on my message box it would be really appreciable if you would subscribe my channel so that i can add on much new and new videos for you to make the topics more understandable i will try to do hard work for you 
So I'm waiting for your feedback. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.